Hey folks, good to see you. Can't wait to see you in person next week, but this week from home, we're thinking about that third flavor of the fruit of the spirit. We've looked at love, we've thought about joy, and this week we're thinking about peace. Now, peace is a big Bible word. It's something that God has made and it's a brilliant gift from him to his family. It's about wholeness and well-being. It's about freedom from fear. And in our Bible story this week, the disciples were afraid. They were out in a boat with Jesus when this storm hits and it was a mega one. The wind was howling, the waves were huge, the water was crashing over the side and they were petrified. Now bear in mind that some of these guys were fishermen, they were used to being out on a boat, but this storm had them scared. So they go to Jesus. Where was he? At the back of a boat, fast asleep. They wake him up and say, don't you care Jesus, look at this storm. Jesus turns to the wind and the waves and he says, be still, and nature obeys. It's a brilliant story about God's power and about Jesus being in control. And it's a great lesson for us when we're thinking about peace. Because life can be a bit choppy, can't it? It can be a bit stormy. Sometimes school's difficult, or life at home is hard, or our friendship groups are chopping and changing and are tough sometimes. Sometimes it feels like we're bobbing about, completely out of control. But in those times, there is something amazing that we can do. There are some really good things that we can do. We can talk to our friends and our family, find someone that we trust that we can say, do you know what, life's tough, and let them know how we're feeling. We can dig into something that we really enjoy doing, a hobby or something that helps us feel less stressed about life. We can get outside and be active anything to make us feel a little better. Those are all great things, but there's something else that is amazing and definitely worth doing. And it's what the disciples did. They went to Jesus. See, it's only through Jesus that we can know real proper peace. Jesus said to his disciples, I give you peace. My peace I give to you. I don't give like the world gives. So don't let your hearts be troubled or afraid. Jesus' peace isn't just about thinking positively. It's not just about an absence of tough times or hard things. It's not just a good feeling. Jesus' peace comes from knowing that he is the one in control, even when life feels like it's out of control. It comes from trusting God. It comes from knowing that there is someone greater in charge. And that great person that is in charge of everything loves you and me all the time. And that is where peace stems from. That's how we can grow peace when we focus and fix our eyes on the one in control and learn to trust him. So next time, you're feeling a bit like that boat tossed back and forth by life. Talk with Jesus, talk to God. Say to him, help me, life feels tough and hard and I need your peace. Help me to trust that you're in control. Help me to know that you're here with me in all of this. Maybe tell someone else that could be praying for you too. Now at the start I said, that peace is a big word. Tune in to the main church service and hear Malcolm say more about what peace means and how we can grow it in our lives, what it means to be a peacemaker. Have a look at that and also have a look at your worksheet this week so you can dig into the Bible story more. And I'll see you in person next week. Okay guys, bye. <laughs>